Okay, so did you ever find out who, who kidnapped you? Yeah, it was some dudes running my way. I don't, I think, they tell me it was dudes running my way, but actually nobody really told me their names. Okay. You know, later down the line, not that time, probably three, five years later, man, they did it. I was like, man, that's, I, I was like, I was mad at first, but then I was thinking about it, man, they ain't do nothing to me. They told me, man, we, you too little, nigga, we gonna let you go. Money or no money. So when I got older, when I started picking up the gun, I'm like, mother was trying to come and feed me information about the niggas. I'm like, man, I ain't tripping off that shit. They ain't do nothing to me. Yeah. Man, I let that shit go. Okay, and around that time, Rayful Edmund was the big drug kingpin in D.C. Yeah, Rayful the Rat. Right, because then by 1989, he gets arrested. That's, yep. Um, at the time, he was supplying 60% of the cocaine in D.C. and making $70 million a month. That's the rumor. Um, and he ends up getting arrested, convicted. He gets life in prison, and his mother gets 14 years in prison. Mm-hmm. He continues to sell drugs in prison. Yep. Gets another 30 one. years. That's and then by 1996, he becomes an informant. Yep. You know why he came in for it? Because of his mother? Nah, was, nah, bullshit. That, that was the story, that he, that that, from, that he became yeah. an informant because they would let his mother out. Man, boy, his mother was breaking, running numbers way before he was hustling. Fuck out of here. Okay. Come up from the streets. Man, they took some shit. My homies took some shit from him. He was fucking with the... Um, What's that lady named Blanco? Uh, Kyle Girl. Griselda, Griselda yeah. Blanco? Yeah. The, the two sons was in it in Lewisburg. Her two sons was in Lewisburg. Mm-hmm. And he started fucking with them. And he plugged one of our homies up with them. And I'm glad he didn't plug him. I'm, I know I know my little man used to be on his case. Lord Nut. So I'm glad I was fucking with Nut, not him. You know what I'm saying? So. He plugged one of our homies up. Our homies took his shit. Gave him a little bit of money. Was like, that's all we got. We took a loss. So they gave him some more shit. They took that. Then he started telling. So he told on all them niggas. He told on all them. Right, because with his cooperation, the government arrested 11 drug dealers out mm-hmm. of D.C. Yeah. You knew those guys? Some of them? Yeah, I knew some of them. Okay. Yeah. He became, well, he ended up being put in the, the Federal Witness Protection Program in prison. Mm-hmm. So I guess they put him in a different prison, yep. but nobody knows who he is. No, we yet. That's right. Exactly. And then in 2019, he tried to get his life sentence reduced because he gave them more information about 20 different homicides. Yeah. I don't know that, but I know I seen something on a news where it's though. They said he told so good, the prosecutors was trying to get him out, saying they ain't gonna rebuild, they ain't gonna rebut nothing. That's how much good ready was. Snitch rap motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, once Rayful Edmund, you know, goes down, does Wayne Perry step up as the next kingpin out of DC? Wayne Perry not a hustler. WP not a hustler. Okay. He was more of a, a hitman, yeah, enforcer. Forcer, he, yeah, he ain't he ain't a hustler. Okay. Got to my knowledge. Got it. 